Well, have you ever wondered what's inside a pneumatic gripper? I had to take mine apart because the, the balls in the linear guides had gotten some grit in them and it was no longer opening and closing properly so it was time for a little bit of maintenance. So while it's open, let's go ahead and see how it works. Um, the gripper fingers have a, a pocket in the bottom, a little hole, and they slide back and forth in this little guide rail. So you can see how that kind of works. And whenever these fingers are in here, they're they're actually mo moved by these things opening and closing. And that's pretty cool. I actually thought that they had a tiny little pin on the inside, similar to how they did this joint. Um, but nope, not required. All that's needed is uh, sort of like a ball joint. Pretty cool. Now these ball bearings are just soaking in some mineral spirits. Basically it will dissolve any grease and oils and also make it easier to get whatever gunk is on them off, clean them up, and then I will re-grease them. They're all dry. Well, that was fun. Now for the hard part, putting it back together. Now the first six are pretty easy. But now what do I do? Hmm. Ah, now there's an idea. There we go. Ready for the next one. Amazing. Take a look at how these tracks are designed to be about one ball length large. So the uh, balls actually don't want to slide at all. Um, as long as they're rolling, it's real easy. But see how it doesn't actually want to fall out? Pretty cool. Now we'll just work in a little bit of grease onto those tracks. I'd say that turned out pretty good. These grippers are really fun to play with. I picked this one up for $20 on Amazon, and it's great to know that I can maintain it. Well, thanks for watching.